These 66 satellites orbiting the planet could change the way we fly. This is the Iridium Next constellation. Deployment begins in December as they replace old satellites already in place. The next satellites will carry a payload to receive an airplane's transponder signal every few seconds. And that's a game changer. MH370 flew out of the range of Malaysian military radar while over the Indian Ocean. The plane has yet to be found more than a year later. It highlighted to the rest of the world and to the, the public at large what the aviation industry already knew, that only 70% of the world, or over 70% of the world, doesn't have surveillance. Aircraft aren't tracked flying over a major, major portion of the, the world. Don Toma of the aircraft tracking company Arion says the next satellites will show it all. These are the company's 66 satellites. Let me show you the beam from just one of them. So looking at that size, it's easy to see how all of them together can easily cover every inch of the globe. The receivers, which update every few seconds, rely on cockpit equipment already required by some countries as controllers move from ground-based radar to satellite navigation. Iridium monitors its satellites from a control center in Virginia. Since planes can't currently be tracked over entire oceans, safety rules require large distances between them. Once NEXT is fully deployed in three years, planes will be able to fly closer to each other, resulting in efficiency and fuel savings for the airlines. Passengers will see more flights and more direct flights to locations around the globe. Arion already has customers ready to pay for this real-time tracking of civilian aircraft. But they are also building an emergency operations center 10 kilometers north of Ireland's Shannon Airport. Anytime an aircraft is lost, the airline or rescue organization could contact the center for the plane's last flight track. That's unique now because uh, it's, it's, it will be a quite, uh, it'd be within eight seconds or so of when the last contact was made, which is a huge, uh, the distance would be narrowed down in the case of MH370 if that was available at the time. And that service will be free. In Leesburg, Virginia, Carolyn Pursuti, VOA News.